subscribe to my channel um, don't forget to my page hope you've been good this is going to be a nice six months in relationship okay we're going to look at the relationships um, and the identity of our role within four fire signs okay so this next six months are focusing your attention on your family stories your history your cultural rights if you've not watched that watch the overall message for fire signs and watch your what's clear reading for you is okay <coughs> This six months are also going to focus on your relationship with your parents, improving your relationship with your parents, knowing that your parents love you no matter what. And then there's also something coming in very soon for you, which you're going to get some more clarity on that. Um, so I'm going to start off this reading with a look into your family stories and histories, your family culture, what your ancestors are wanting to are wanting you to know and figure out at this time. There might be, it's what I'm also seeing somewhere around your family's heritage, the rights, the practices, the cultural norms, your traditional practices, your traditional way of doing things, which is all culture as well. Our culture is like your way of life. So what were those things your ancestors were known for, that your grandparents, your great-grandparents were known for? What were those roles they filled in society? What were those roles they filled in community? That it's like you it feels really everyday like the mantle is being handed over like you do the <coughs> responsibilities are being passed down to you because now it's your time it's time for your generation to take up the mantle of leadership and continue to uh, be the one to continue or to further your family stories and histories and cultures and heritage and bring it to like a new audience <coughs> okay so let's get some more clarity on what this family's culture and stories and histories that you're supposed to learn about. So you're supposed to get some more clarity on. And I'm also you guys might yes, I know you're Jews, but you might have you might have had like performers in your family, people that were known for taking the stage and not shying away from being a center of attention. Infinite abundance, you are fully supported as you devote yourself to your divine life purpose. Yeah, so what I'm also feeling is like people like your in your family, you're like very um, popular and also very celebrated artists, people who focused on what they wanted in life and then they were blessed for it. These were people who were known for their talents and then they received income, they received abundance, they received a lot of luck, a lot of success was associated with them being able to, was basically associated with them and their talents and their skills. <coughs> okay, so that it's just like, um, they were known for what they did, they were known for their art, they were known for their performance, they were known for their act. For some of you, this might have been actors, I'm seeing like actors, maybe people who worked in publishing, in news, reporters, sports persons were also significant. But what your ancestors are coming for you to say is that whatever it is that your hand has found now, know that you can, know that you can, you can, how do I put it? What I'm saying is like you complete in a race. And it's like, right now, you're not sure if, if you do this thing, if you devote yourself to your life purpose, you don't know if you are going to be rewarded for it. But what your ancestors are coming in to say is that, oh, this is something we've done so many times. We're in your shoes. We also didn't know if people would be able to support us or buy with our ideas or support our arts, be able to, you know, reward our talents. We didn't know if we'd be celebrated. We didn't know if we are going to become, you know, wealthy, we are going to become rich from just the pure use of our talents and our skills. But it, it, it happened for us. We had a lot more. We had a lot more abundance that could, we could ever we could ever expect. We had a lot more riches, abundance, wealth, celebration, fanfare. People applauded us, people celebrated us. <coughs> so it's like they're coming into literally you guys are going to be in a lot of butterflies at this time. Over this next six months, you're going to be seeing a lot of butterflies, especially like small ones, white ones, but small, tiny butterflies. Um, <coughs> yes, as I was saying, they're coming in to really reassure you that what you want, this life you want for yourself, based on your life purpose, based on what God has given you, based on your skills, based on your talents, is very possible. It's very, very possible. 
don't think that you have to sell yourself out don't think that you have to sell yourself into the nine to five don't think that you have to do what others are doing to be wealthy to be rich to be successful no okay you can be wealthy with what has been deposited in you yeah trust trust your feelings and dreams to guide your career path yeah so as i was saying you you guys are really at that inflection state of oh should i go into my dream should i go with my talent should i fulfill my mission should i fulfill my purpose should I just go after my dreams? But if I do, am I sure I'm going to get rich from it? Is it not better for me to just go and do nine to five for me to be able <laughs> And yes, I said so there you come in. And this is so beautiful. Not to bash Aries, but the reading I just did for Aries was so was so heavy and so overwhelming that doing this reading for you makes my soul and my heart feel light so i'm very happy to channel all these messages for you you yeah so you're yeah, being guided at this point to trust trust that your career decisions trust that your and like your your career is literally wrapped around your life purpose when you came into this world there was something you came to do you are giving your talents, your skills, your gifts for a particular reason. There's a burning desire within you that you're yet to achieve. That is your life story. That is your purpose. It doesn't have to be like what anybody else has done. It doesn't have to be. It doesn't have to be like what other people are doing now. It is yours, and it is yours alone. And this path is for you to walk. Um, I'm also being guided to tell you go watch the eclipse readings i did for you it's also give you some more clarity along what this path is along what this divine alignment is in line with your gift to your dreams but your guardian angels your spirit your ancestors they are just coming in trust your feelings and dreams on this chosen career path just trust I know you are really worried about oh will this thing be fulfilling will I be supported will I be supported about can you see you are more than enough it doesn't look like it now because you're just starting off but trust this path trust your dreams trust your gifts trust your talents trust your skills trust that you were given for a reason if the world didn't need it if the world didn't need to see what you could do only you could do you wouldn't have been given okay trust you are fully supported as you devote yourself to your life purpose trust okay let's see is there any other thing your ancestors want to let you know this point in time you guys are also going to be feeling cold so eating a lot more natural food a lot so a lot less processed food more unprocessed more food in their natural states um, fruits veggies or just a lot of unprocessed food eating a lot of natural food like you also want your body to be able to prepare to be celebrated okay because what i'm also seeing is like i'm also seeing like you guys taking up stage performing in front of audience of thousands of millions of people and you having to have that energy to be able like maybe when you're on tour you don't want to fall sick so you need to start preparing your body to be able to face a lot of stress but the stress is not going to be overwhelming it's not what's going to make you feel sick the stress is just good stress because it's you fulfilling your life purpose do you understand so it's something that excites you but in the meantime prepare your body by eating right giving it the food the right nutrients okay is there any final message from your sisters here and there's also something around your feeling for some of you there may be some shame associated with what you do or you feel like people look at you in a funny way or in a weird way or people project shame onto you maybe because what you do is so different that's also why you're always asking questions like oh, should i actually do this should i actually focus on this people may look at you in a weird way but know that if okay so two things come in for you if your gifts were not needed in this world trust me you wouldn't have been given if you were not needed, you wouldn't have been created to have this gift. And second thing is, if anyone could do it, everyone would be doing it. But you were given particularly because you were strong. And I don't want you to just say strength as physical strength. You had emotional strength to be able to withstand whatever is being projected onto, 
and for you to face your future for you to face your goals for you to face your dreams not to allow not to allow people that are small-minded to distract you to detract you from your vision so there's there might be and what i'm also saying not even there might be there's there's this thing around people projecting shame onto you making you want to feel guilty of your heart or making you want to feel guilty of what you do of your dreams making you feel like you have to choose them or you have to choose to conform to the way things have been what i'm also hearing is you just stay focused on the vision stay focused on the long term six months is going to be incredible for you see that this six months is going to be testing your will of committing to what it is you say you truly want are you going to allow people outside of you to have an impact to have impact literally to have a say in how you choose to live your life you know you choose to show up for yourself you know you choose to use your gifts are you going to allow people outside of you people who don't breathe for you people who don't think for you people who don't eat for you people who don't feed you or provide for you who don't give you breath who don't make you wake up in the morning <laughs> only god does that so are you going to allow those people who are actually like meaningless to your pursuit of your dreams are you going to allow them to distract deceive and detract you from what you should be doing because you feel like they're looking at you with shame in their eyes or scorn or guilt or trying to project you know that it's their own fear they're projecting onto you because you are brave enough to walk this path you are brave enough to follow your dreams you are brave enough to do what brings you joy you are brave enough to do what you can do so are you going to allow those that are not brave those that are not courageous those that are scared of following their dreams are you going to allow them to make you go away from walking your path part was created for you and i'm just being told to tell you if anyone could do it everyone would do it but they can't only you could that's why you're the only one doing it you're the only one doing it as it's being done so don't let people who are small-minded who can never walk your path who can never walk a mile a meter in your shoes they cannot go through what you've gone through they can't do what you do they never they can't walk in your shoes they can't undo the gifts you've been given the talents the skills they can't so are you going to allow those people to distract you or to detract you or to tell you what it isn't to project their fears onto you and for you to absorb are you going to do that don't okay don't there's nothing to be ashamed of you guys you can also read this book the courage to be disliked by ichiro kishimi i'm looking at it right now like i was pulled to it i wish i could show you but it's going to <laughs> it's going to mess up my camera setup right now <laughs> the courage to be disliked go read it okay you learn how to separate yourself from other people separate your relationship with yourself from your relationship with other people the relationship with yourself has to, has to be healthy and strong enough relationship with other people comes second place so this next six months is going to really help you to improve and strengthen your relationships with yourself your trust in yourself your trust in the universe also is also going to improve how, how well you use your skills how well you use your skills how talented how much you use because okay so you have the skills you have the talent you have the gift but if you don't own your skills you won't be able to do much with it so look at it like this six months is like fast track of you being tested tested improving 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 testing improving improving testing improving so in six months time you're going to be like at the top it's not yet you're not maxing out yet but it's just like you're going to be a lot more um 
of an expert you are going to be a lot mind control of your gifts and your talents so that you can use it a lot better in, in a lot more ways and very much better my english is all wonky this morning but <laughs> Oh, your parents are keen to shop for you about this next six months. You especially like your parents that passed away. Make sure you celebrate them um, in Scorpio season, okay? Make sure you celebrate them in Scorpio season around the Halloween. Do memorial service for them. For those that your memorial service have passed, just remember them over this next six months. Dedicate a day towards remembering them. Setting out their pictures, setting out their favorite foods. It's going to be very essential. It's like they want you to remember them and they want to remind you that they're always there for you. Even when you feel like there's nobody else. If you feel like you are alone, nobody is supporting you, nobody is seeing what you're doing, nobody is acknowledging what you're doing, know that your parents are always there for you, especially the ones that have passed away. They are planning very, very strongly. They are planning a lot. I'm also hearing for some of you that are going to become parents. You may actually be giving birth to your parents in kind. Like your parents are coming out through your children. That just came out very direct. For you, if you're watching this right now and you're pregnant, know that the babies you're giving birth to, they are like going to be bearing the souls of your parents. It's like your parents are being regenerated and rebirthed through the children you're giving birth to. Okay, but the overall message here is like we are to be, we are with you. Don't think you're ever alone. We are looking out for you. We are taking care of you. We are supporting you. We are you know we are all over. We are everywhere with you right now. Where you guys may your hands may also be dry, but just there's just this thing about continue to hydrate yourself and moisturize a lot over this next six months. Hydrate, 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 and take a lot of, and the hydration needs to be from fruits, from juices, from veggies. Hydrate, hydrate, hydrate. That smells good. Hydrate, hydrate, hydrate over this next six months. Okay? Six months from whenever you're watching this. Make sure you hold a memorial service, a remembrance service for your parents that passed. Um... Stay hydrated and know that they're always with you. They're always with you. All right, so let's go on. So what's happening for you very soon? What can you expect very soon? Alright, so you over this next six months, you guys are going to literally be changing your story, the way you see things, the way you react to things, the way you hold yourself. There's also something about you holding yourself back from being seen, maybe because people have made you feel that you feel ashamed of what you did in the past. So in some ways, you've held yourself back. You've held yourself back from being seen, from being, you know. From being seen for who you are. So for some of you, that might have been like you playing on, you know, platforms or you limiting your, your, you limiting the spread of what you do because you don't want so many people to see you. Okay, so there's something around that coming up. Maybe you limit yourself to one platform because you you are just trying to modulate people's responses to you. There's something about you over this next six months. You're going to be exploring different ideas different platforms, different mediums, different modalities of showcasing yourself, of showcasing your talent, of showcasing your skills, of showcasing what you can do. You're going to be exploring different, a lot of ways. There's also something about you regressing and let's get some more clarity on what it is. Yeah, regressing and working away from. There's something here, maybe for some of you, you're going to be walking away from paid employment. I need to be walking away from paid employment into becoming entrepreneurs and realizing like it could be multiple sources of income opening up for you and you only been the one holding yourself back because you've been afraid of how this thing is going to play out if you go it if you try to do it your way. For those of you that maybe you are performers and you're working with maybe an agent, a group. This is you now standing solo. Maybe if you were in a group of musicians, you're in a band. This is you pairing up and becoming a solo artist. 
and realizing that there's a lot more for you to do there's a lot more you can explore there's a lot more opportunities for you doing it solo having a team backing team but not being one of the team members do, does that make sense maybe you have like backup singers you have like backup band people but they're like they are your band you're not in the band you're not part of the group um for some of you also this may be you getting some help with um exploring how you can share your message how you can be more out there so getting people who work with you who can help you to maybe improve your improve your virality or your awareness or the things you do maybe in spreading the things you do yes yeah, so being very flexible around what platforms are you on what mediums what media do you use what modalities do you engage with um what there's a lot around social media so what social media platforms are you on how else can you spread yourself how else can you spread your posts your words your videos the things you do how can you make more people aware of what you do being very flexible around the, the choices you make in this regard being very flexible around um okay what if i do this what if i engage this um what if i engage this social media thing or agency what if i engage this website developers what if i engage this um performance agents or this agent to review my contract there's something about you being flexible with how you do your work and the people you work with and how basically how you do your work how you do your work there's something about you maybe holding yourself back because you feel like it should only be done in a certain way and instead of being open to being done in a different way over this next six months i want you to be open towards listening to other people's advice I'm not saying necessarily take their advice, but listen to what they have to say in terms of how else you can position your work, how else you can do what you are doing, how else what you else you should be considering in terms of your positioning strategy, your branding, your brand media relations, public relations, just things around that nature. Not call to your skills or your gifts or your talents but things that support how you deploy your gift or your talent so how much you allow your gift and your talents to be seen okay so be very flexible and be very open towards new ideas because these things are going to bring you opportunities for growth so be flexible towards it be open towards the ideas yes so these things are going to give you opportunities for growth for some of you might be offered like two-year plans what you can work on in the long term and it's going to be very easy and very rewarding and it's going to allow more people to see you for some of you this is like maybe you be giving contracts to um, share your art in a foreign field to travel to a distant land to showcase what you can do to perform in a foreign in a foreign land maybe um, where the culture and language is not even what you're used to what you speak so just be very open to these new ideas and opportunities as they come to you for some of you you may be told like okay why don't you move why don't you also expand your reach to this new platform why don't you try this platform and you may be like oh well um artists like me are usually seen on this platform they don't say no because it's like you've been holding yourself back from from being seen you've been holding yourself back from being seen from being experienced so over this next six months work on trusting and being open to new information that positions you in front of more people that positions and grows you helps you create community of people that are going to be more supportive okay so over this next six months it's going to be very essential and this is going to be very healing and rewarding for you because
because for some of you it may be that you are simply playing on platforms where your audience where your audience cannot be found so it's like this idea is coming in here so it can change for, for some of you are simply playing on platforms where your audience cannot be found so that's why you feel like you're not getting the support or that's why you feel like maybe you are not going to be abundant from you using these gifts and skills but so there is just about you changing platforms changing audience expanding your reach growing your reach look into social media management um, and social media support over the six months so it's going to be very helpful for you Leo's okay it's going to be very helpful for you and let's see how can they free themselves up from this self imprisonment and it's like this has just been holding you back because in your head you feel like oh maybe you don't have the the views or the numbers yet or the audience to be able to make some certain plays to be able to perform on some certain stages or some or to be able to leverage some the certain tools what you do yeah just not saying it yeah so there's a lot that you're not seeing it so you're holding on to a lot now so over this next six months i also want you to be open to receiving help to receiving assistance for some of you this might just be you getting like agents working with an agency or working with um, some media assistants that are going to be able to help you to go viral or maybe they're going to be able to help you build a stronger keener community of people that actually love and support you but right now you're not you're not seeing that because you're trying to keep yourself not like you're trying to keep yourself small but you're doing a lot you're trying to do a lot by yourself so this six months is going to see you also being open to receiving help um having some assistance um leveraging freelancers people that can do some other things that no caught to your talent your talents your skills your gifts those are caught to you or you might be outsourcing some other things that not caught to you so that you can devote more time to getting better and improving and continuing to own your expertise so you might be outsourcing the other things that tangential so maybe things around um, social media management websites um pr media relations just other things that support the work you do but they are not caught to what you do all right let's see final message for my videos releasing anger okay so that's where also this regret is coming from so for some of you, you might be holding on to there may have been a recent change in how you do things or the platforms you play on or maybe there was something that changed around your management or your agency maybe the agency you work with there's just something that changed that you're still holding on to but spirit is saying there's a bigger thing there so you're holding on to this thing feeling like maybe something was taken away from you maybe an opportunity you feel like this opportunity was taken away from you but the truth about it was it was not even meant to last this long it was never something that was going to be fruitful it was just a phase you needed to go through and now you yep there's a new opportunity opening up for you there's a new platform there's a new stage there's a new audience a new community opening up for you but you're still focusing a bit on what you think you've lost not understanding that that was just what it was supposed to be it was just a phase for you to go through it wasn't something that you were supposed to um earn income from or something that was supposed to be fruitful for you yeah, it could have been fruitful for other people but it wasn't your path to it wasn't your path to wealth or abundance okay so release this thing release your memories of it release any anger associated with it any regret associated with it about okay maybe people left you up maybe someone let you down maybe someone you got sidelined or you got kicked off or you got kicked off your project let's release the anger from those things and focus on this new beginning because there's a new opportunity spirit is opening up for you 
there's a new opportunity that opened up for you at, at the time you lost this old opportunity but you didn't lose it that, that, it's like they're telling you to tell you like the thing lost you but it's also not like it lost you it was just what it was supposed to be it was just supposed to be like just a journey for you to go through the what you're supposed to get from it was the experience of going through that journey but that was where it was supposed to end so leave any angers and any regrets you're still holding on to from this past experience that's just what it was supposed to be it wasn't supposed to be anything more okay look at the person look at the platform that's cost you pain and see them as a human being they are release the anger you feel and free yourself freeing yourself and expand into love free yourself and expand to love know that this situation ended so that you could actually be where you needed to be so that you could actually be seen by the people who actually love and support you so that you could actually be seen by a community that wants you all right Okay, final, final message for you. Okay, with that. When I surrender my will to the care of spirit and the universe, I attune my energy with an ever-present stream of well-being. When I surrender my will to the care of spirit and the universe, I attune my energy with an ever-present stream of well-being. Okay, that's your information over this next six months. So this next six months I ask you to just simply really really just surrender. Surrender your will to the care of spirit and the universe and trust that you will be taken care of, you'll be guided, okay? Your well being is paramount to the universe, okay? Attune your energy to ever present from your well being. You know that everything is working out for you. And at every point in time be very open to change over this next six months. It's very essential, be very open to changing very open to advice you're going to receive on how you can improve how you can improve your reach your awareness okay your virality your visibility things along that line all right yes i love you this was very nice to channel this was a very wonderful message to channel for you if this reason if this video resonated with you make sure you Leave a comment if you've not subscribed to my channel. If you don't follow my page, what are you waiting for? All right. I love to read back from you. And I wish you the best of luck over this next six months. You've got this. Trust that everything that is happening is happening for you. Trust that it's happening for you. And if you like to book a reading on me, the link is in my bio.